Welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Now let's take care of the print, search and add new data. So let me exit now. Okay, let's come right down here and double click on the print. The first thing I'm going to do for this print is I'm going to ask the application to show the dialog. So that is dialog and this is going to be X L let's see XL print setup let's come down, down here and look for print right there there we go now close that and say dot show so that will show the print dialog box the next thing is I'm going to say this workbook dot that will be shades and that is going to be my worksheet one close that dot was print out let's say print one copy all right there equals one so that is the print function taken care of okay let's try out these two lines of code that we've just taken care of so let's run it now and just click on print there you can even set it up and select landscape click on ok and let's select notes uh, one note because I don't have a, any printer attached to this system and there we go that's it on a one note okay so I'm just going to get rid of that because we don't want to print now exit out and go back so the next one I like to take care of now let's take care of odd because this is the the search is what the program is all about double click on add and right up there the first thing I like to do is to declare the following I'm going to call that dim wks as worksheet and let's declare another one dim add new as range now let's set worksheets equals sheet number one and let's set add add new equals worksheet dot range and it's going to start from a 65,356 dot and x l up dot offset that means go to the next line that's one comma zero so zero the zero is for the definite data okay now that that is done I'm now going to call each of my each of my comp components that's offset equals zero the one on column zero dot value and that is going to be equals let me use that for my reference txt reference dot text that's the very first one now the next one is going to be I might as well just copy this and just change it around we need 10 in total just copy paste and let's just change that around that will be one two and so on okay those are the lines of codes as you guys can see I've entered the names of each of those components that I have in on my system right there's about 10 of those really okay so let's go back in there anyway so double click on that now the next thing is you see this very list box let's copy that list box and just come right down here and say list box dot columns 
I'd like you to count how many columns I have in total. Give me 11, 11 columns and dot row, row cells equals, I'm going to start that from, let's say A, all the way here. Let's copy that, paste that here. That would be a A1 all the way to J65356 there that is that taken care of so what we happen is from up here down here whatever data I enter on any of the text box is automatically saved on the on sheet one why it is displayed on the list box so if we try that out now let's assume i enter some data in there and let's say that is 555 and the name is let's say look that will be look larry okay and address is number three okay. working All right, and postcode is going to be 8 HW telephone number and the date is today's date and proof of ID. Let's say it says student, student ID, and it wants to be a member. Let's say monthly and fee for that. Let's go for. 45. All we need to do is click on that. You see that all of those data are in place now. And let's look for looks details. That's looks details there. Okay. So that is fine. All of those data, and that include the data that I have on my spreadsheet right here. Let's end that. This this data okay looks details should be here somewhere that's it all right minimize that now finally we want to take care of this search let's bring that up a little bit so that you guys can see the search take it down okay with the search i'm going to declare the following variable first okay i've declared one the variable is i search as long and i as long as well so come right down here and let's say i search equals work worksheet and the worksheet is going to be sheet sheet one there close that dot whatever range dot range and let it start from a1 there dot current dot current range no current region dot rules dot count there now Let's use a for loop for i equals the 10 to i sesh. Right. So let's get it trimmed. Now, if trim session, whatever we have inside this worksheet or the sheets sheet one is a dot cells as i comma one is not equals to trim whatever i have inside txt search dot text and i is not equals to I search then 
then I want a message to pop up. Message box. I can say, let's just say invalid. Invalid data. Okay, that's fine. Invalid data. There. And a set focus txt slash dot set focus at the same time I like it cleared okay let's play it can just copy this and get it clear before setting the focus copy it paste it right here and say clear and yeah okay and if else there will be an error okay that's that's just to validate that there's something inside this text box if there's nothing in there or if you enter the wrong data this message will pop up okay however if trim equals what we're looking for I'll just copy this let's say equals whatever we have in here get rid of this then I want the following to happen txt let's say txt now oh, that's a text box text equals dot so that would be I comma one there. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the rest rest of my text box. Just copy this and change it around. So this one will be first name. And in here that will be number two. And this is three, and this is so name. And let's speed that up since you guys get the whole idea now. And right there, guys, those are the lines of code for the search function using for loop and if functions. And I've also ended the for loop here and the if statement. So let's run the program and see how it works. First of all, I'm going to populate. You see that? Now let's search an invalid data. Click on search. There we go. Invalid data. And the system will clear this if I click on OK. There. And now let's enter something that we can see. There we go. Click on search. There we go, guys. And we can reset and search for any other data in there let's go for 9999 and click on search there so guys with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now bye for now and please do subscribe and you can even be a member of my channel you all have a nice day and bye for now